What's up you guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda Marie. Over here I love to discuss all things fragrance. So if you're into fragrance, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button. Alright, today I'm going to do, I am going to try my hardest, okay, my hardest. It's so, it's going to be so hard for me to describe this fragrance to you guys, but I am really, really going to try. Today I'm going to do a 15 minute review on the new fragrance from Boho Boco. It is called Eternal Lily Amber. This fragrance was gifted to me by the team at Boho Boco. Thank you guys so much for sharing this lovely fragrance with me. You guys know, okay, I am into very unique, different fragrances. I, I've been doing this long enough to say I'm really tired of the cookie cutter fragrances. All the fragrances are starting to kind of smell the same to me. Nothing is really like standing out nothing is really saying like oh my god this is different you know i guess things are kind of getting redundant for me i feel like brands are just falling into this comfortable type of atmosphere where they're not and not all brands just some brands where they're just kind of like giving us a lot of flankers you know granted the fragrances are not bad but they're not necessarily different they're not necessarily throwing down they're not giving me the oof that i need in my collection i'm at a point where i love my collection but i'm starting to go into an era where i want something different i want something interesting i want something that catches my attention and and it's is i guess just unique and different and you guys you guys ah, eternal lily Amber by Boho Boco is, is that fragrant. If you're somebody that is into smelling different, smelling unique, you know, you don't like smelling like everybody else, you are going to absolutely love this fragrance. Again, I'm going to try my hardest. I'm going to try my hardest to describe this fragrance to you. Go ahead and talk about the packaging. If you've ever ordered any fragrances from Boho Boco, you know it's a whole experience. Like the fragrance comes to you wrapped up in a pretty box with a pretty bow. You get like a letter from the perfumer. I want to say his name is Mikala, M Mikkel or Mikala. I may be pronouncing that wrong. Forgive me if I am, I'm sorry. But you get like a little personal note from him it's a whole experience and I'm totally here for it, okay? Like, if I'm gonna be spending a nice little coin on a fragrance, I do want that whole experience of unwrapping and doing all like, like I want the extras, okay? Cause I'm extra, so give me all the extras. Give me all the bells and the whistles, all right? Make me feel special, damn it. And they totally do with their packaging and I absolutely love it. The bottles are very aesthetic pleasing to me. Love how you can see the juice, okay? And there's a couple of reasons why I like that. Number one, the main reason I like to see my juice is because I wanna see what level I'm at. I wanna see if it's time to buy a new bottle or what, how much I've used, all those things, etc. So I love that the bottle is see-through. Another thing that I love about the bottle is that this top is velvety. Like, I don't own any bottles in my collection other than Boho Boco fragrances where you get this beautiful soft velvety top i think that is classy unique different and that's one of the main things i love about this brand they have some out there fragrances like he is not afraid to express himself through his fragrance and you guys know i can go on a whole rant i think fragrances are a form of art in my opinion and i love when an artist can express themselves through fragrance or, or paintings or photos and you're just not afraid to like put your work out there and just introduce it to the world and i just love that about his fragrances i could tell that the craftsmanship and the time and the experience that he puts in his fragrance because every time i get a boho boho fragrance it's just 
something different. It opens up different areas in my mind and I absolutely love that about this brand. So let's get into the notes real quick. The opening you get Sicilian Mandarin, you get Granny Smith Apple. In the mid you get Lily, Turkish Rose and Jasmine. In the base you get Patchouli, Amber and Madagascar Vanilla. Now there's not a lot of um, there's not a lot of reviews of this fragrance on Fragrantica, uh, but it is ranked as a love fragrance, which, yeah, y'all got some good taste out there because I love it too. The main accords are listed as white floral, rose, citrus, amber, vanilla, fruity, patchouli, soft, spicy, floral, and green. Anyway, I already sprayed it. I've just been sniffing it. I, I just, every time I smell it, I go into a trance. It just, it sends me, it, it sends me. It really sends me. Now, I would agree this is a floral scent. I mean, yeah, I could say white floral because of the uh, jasmine and the lily. Those are both white florals. I pick up mostly on the rose, really. And if I had to choose between the jasmine and the lily, they're probably evened out. I can't necessarily say that I get one more than the other, to be honest with you. I mean, I get them both. They're both hitting my, as I take a, as I take a big whiff in, I feel like the lily and the jasmine are kind of hitting me at the same time. So that is a good thing. They're blended very well. One doesn't really stick out to me more than the other, except for the rose. I feel like I get a little bit more rose in this fragrance um, than the other floral notes. In the opening, I'm picking up more on the florals, not necessarily the uh, citrusy note from the mandarin. If anything in the top, I'm getting Granny Smith Apple. And it's kind of almost like that same type of Granny Smith Apple that is in fragrances like um, Dylan Blue by Dolce & Gabbana. If you can think, if you have that fragrance and you can kind of remember it, it has that same Granny Smith smell, which is like an apple smell, but kind of like a sour apple smell. It's not a sweet apple smell whatsoever. I'm gonna say this fragrance is not over the top sweet at all. You pick up on some sweet nuances from the Madagascar vanilla, but that's about it. This is not a sweet uh, perfume. I would say it's more floral and it is soft spicy which you probably get from the patchouli. I would agree that this is a green scent. I mean, the juice is green, as you guys can see. It's giving very much green. It's um, almost giving a little earthy type of feel from the patchouli. I love the patchouli in this fragrance. Now, if you're not a lover of patchouli, I don't really know how you're gonna feel about this one. But I feel like this fragrance is super, unique it's different from anything really that i have in my collection unfortunately i cannot compare this fragrance to anything that i have in my collection whatsoever it's just a standalone fragrance it stands on its own it's unique again i'm going to be using that word a lot unique different mysterious super sexy this is a sexy fragrance I feel like the person that wears this fragrance is uber confident. Like, you don't really let anything bother you. You know what I'm saying? Very well put together. You're, you're not afraid to express yourself through certain things, like your clothes, your music, you know, maybe the type of car you drive, maybe your hairstyle and things like that. This is the vibe that this fragrance is giving me. It's definitely not a cookie cutter scent. It is not like the, the regular, regular fragrances that we are so used to. I feel like we are kind of almost getting brainwashed with fragrances to where we're, we're not training our nose to smell something different. This is that something different for sure. I feel like 
you could possibly layer this with maybe something a little bit sweeter if you're the type of person you have a tendency to lean more towards uh, sweeter fragrances then you definitely could layer with something sweet whatever you layer it with it should definitely complement this scent though because I feel like this scent is again a standalone fragrance it's a fragrance all on its own it really doesn't need much help but i know you guys are into layering and things like that so yeah again i would say if you want to layer go ahead and knock yourself out I have worn this fragrance several times i've had the fragrance now probably about a good maybe going on three months now and i have worn this fragrance several times this fragrance is non offensive i can wear it anywhere i can wear it to work i can wear it uh, in the daytime, to brunch, to a baby shower, to a wedding. I can wear it to the movies. I can wear it on a date night. I can wear it, you name it, I can wear it, okay? It's gonna go perfect in the spring. It's gonna go perfect in the summer. It's gonna go perfect in the fall, in the winter because of the patchouli. Floral notes make it very wearable spring and summer. The patchouli and the amber make it very wearable in fall and winter. This is a very, this is a well-rounded, unique fragrance. Again, on a scale of one to 10, I give this fragrance a 10 for uniqueness, stepping outside of the box. That is where I'm at in 2023 when it comes to fragrances. I don't wanna to continue to give you guys the same old, same old, same song and dance. I don't wanna give you the same soup warmed up. I wanna give you something different. Only, only, only if you are bold enough to try it. Only if you're bold enough to try it, okay? I do think you probably can get this in a sample. I will leave all of Boho Boco's information down below in the description box. They do offer uh, discovery sets. Try those. I urge you to purchase a discovery set from them. And I'm pretty sure it's affordable. I don't know the pricing on it, but it could be like around $75 or something like that. It's super affordable. It's not expensive at all to get a discovery set. I would definitely urge you to do so, especially if you're the type of person where you want to try before you buy. I urge everybody to do that, honestly. But I had to come on and give you guys a 15-minute review of this fragrance. I have been holding on to this fragrance for months and I just had to share it with you guys and I didn't really know how I was going to do this review for you guys because it's it's it this fragrance is very hard to put into words I'll say that it's very hard to put into words because it is so different you know it's not like the typical fragrances that you know I'm used to smelling all the time it's 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 beautiful it's beautiful. It is a Picasso. It is definitely a piece of art that I love and I'm happy to have it in my collection. Again, thank you Boho Boco for sending me this fragrance. I have a few Boho Boco fragrances now. It's this, Eternal Lily is creeping up to number one, but right now my number one favorite is gonna be uh, Sea Salt Caramel because it's a little bit sweeter and I do have a tendency to grab for that one a little bit more. But Eternal Lily Amber is right up there. It's also up there with Wet Cherry Liquor. You guys know I always talk about Wet Cherry Liquor. And there's another fragrance that was recently released that I wanna to talk to you guys about in a different video. But this one was released um, at the end of 2022. So it's fairly new. If you have tried Eternal Lily Amber, please comment down below in the comment section let me know what you think about it i am curious to get your views on it because i haven't heard too many people talk about it to be honest with you and i'm curious to get other people's opinion about the fragrance if you are someone that is into fragrances i would love for you to hit that subscribe button turn on your notification bells honey that way you don't miss out on any videos that i upload thank you guys so much for watching the video i hope you enjoyed it Hit that thumbs up button on your way out if you did, okay? I hope you guys are having a good day and I hope you are smelling good doing it. I will see you in the next video. Bye.